All right, hey guys, super excited today. Why am I excited? Because we got 2024 football, baby. Uh, an unusual product, yes. We have the score a treat uh, pack here, but nonetheless, it is the first uh, football product of this season. So excited to get my hands on some, check out the new guys, check out the new players and get accustomed to seeing uh, last year's rookies as uh, second year players. Um, like everything, there are some parallels to look out for. The majority of the cards are uh, either bats or pumpkins, I believe. We'll address all of that when we get to it. There are tons of cards in here. We got 40, 40 packs per bundle, three cards each. So you get a lot of action here. I haven't seen a ton of great stuff coming out of these, but that doesn't mean that uh, some great stuff couldn't come out right here, right now. Let's dive in, let's get to it. Score a treat. And I was just thinking, this is just me, but I have three of these, by the way, so I'll do my best to whiz through this. I was thinking, wouldn't it have been, a, I'm excited that this exists, but wouldn't it have been a good idea to release this perhaps in October since it is clearly a Halloween product. Not only that, but I believe that the original intention of this is you buy a box of this and then you could throw these little packs out for a trick or treaters. I don't know, just me. Maybe, you know, of course you can still, hopefully you can probably still get these come October, but Seems a little early. Regardless, I'm excited. And uh, this will be the start of the 24 season. Boy, there's a lot of packs in here, holy moly. All right, here we go. Enough talking. Boy, I hope these packs aren't all gonna be this hard. I've watched a few videos on this. These just came out recently. All right, so here we have the pumpkin. Starting things off with Drake London and actually not bad. Um, this is the pumpkin and then here we have the bats. Rising star, Devontae Walker, new rookie. And Calvin Ridley. So we will get familiar with the new rookies I'm excited about that. We know we have a list of guys that are potential rookies to watch, but we don't yet know who we will who will prove themselves good to watch. We shall see Darren Bland. And we're gonna just see also some guys that we aren't used to seeing cards of. Blake Corum, great name. These are cool. They're like, they're very thin paper, um, kind of like glossy paper, very thin. I'm actually a big Halloween guy. I love it. I decorate my house like crazy. Always have dress up and stuff, so I'm actually stoked about this. AJ Brown. Johnny Wilson. And some of the guys we are looking out for. If you have any uh, rookies you're excited about, feel free to chime in on the comments. Of course, Caleb Williams being the number one draft pick. We are excited about him. Speaking of Caleb Williams, I think I watched three or four videos of this and I have yet to see a Caleb Williams and someone said that they even, there's Malik, solid rookie. Let's throw one up, huh? I have the feeling we're mostly gonna be seeing these base cards. Evan Ingram. Someone even said they went on eBay and looked and didn't see any Caleb Williams. So is it possible that the number one chase is not even in this product? That wouldn't make a lot of sense, would it? Like maybe they're waiting for his first debut card to be something other than score a treat. It's possible. Michael Vick. 
We got Quinion Mitchell, AJ Brown again. Uh, so Caleb Williams, Bo Nix, Marvin Harrison Jr., Drake May, Jaden Daniels, JJ McCarthy, Malik, uh, a few other guys. Just kind of, all right, there's a Mahomes. That's cool. Mahomes fan would like to add that to his collection, I'm sure. Do you like the pumpkin or the bat better? What do you think? Chop Robinson. That's what I'm talking about. His names. Gosh, I'm tempted to put that Mahomes up just because. Um, Joe Alt, Dallas Turner. There's a lot. I know, you know, I was looking at some lists and it's like 2024 rookie prospects and there's a list of like, you know, a hundred guys. So I just don't know yet. Little Joey B. We got Jaheim Bell. Jim McMahon, little throwback there. The eyes will be on Caleb for sure. Boy. Gino again. We're getting some repeats. There's another solid rookie. Rome Adunzi. I love. Seeing a lot of different people. And I will say, I'm kind of, I've removed to an alternate opening method here, but. These are not the easiest cards to open, unfortunately. I'm just gonna say it right now, if anyone makes it all the way through this video, God bless you. You are a trooper. You know what? You never know. What if it's not until the third box and I pull out a Caleb Williams, you know, one -on one uh, spider web card or something. You'll be glad you watched. Lado McConkey. We are about halfway through here. And I'd like to take this time to mention uh, recently got up over 500, so thank you all. Nice little Elway for getting me there. Appreciate all you subscribers. If you don't subscribe, Javon Baker, rookie. I'm getting a few throwbacks here. Please uh, go ahead and join the channel. Go ahead and subscribe. Fairly new channel. I'm trying to grow it. I'm always, there's a new product. I'm on it. Try to post good stuff, make the videos interesting. So I appreciate y'all. And uh, I do regular giveaways. Just did the 500. Gave away some nice select football, Johnny Wilson. And uh, who knows? I've been doing giveaways every hundred, so maybe I'll do a 600 giveaway. But I promise you that when I get to a thousand, I'll do a big fat giveaway. It'll be my biggest giveaway yet, multiple winners. So subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for the giveaways. Marvin Harrison, all right. And is that? Different? No. Well, I guess some of them just have like the pumpkin in a different place. But solid rookie. And uh, while you're at it, feel free to go ahead and slap a like on this video. It's easy to do. Just find the like button there. I appreciate it. I get it. I watch a ton of other people's videos and I don't really think about liking it, even though I do like it, Dallas Turner, until they mention that you should, and then I, and then I like it, so. And people just don't think to do it, I think. But I appreciate the likes. And let me know in the comments what you think about this. What do you think about Score Retreat? It's a peculiar, product, that's for sure.
but it's only around 20 bucks. So the price is right. <laughs> I'm gonna butcher some of these cards. I gotta be careful if I do pull out a heater, I don't bend it in half. Derek Stingley. There we go. See? Told you, you gotta be patient. Calais Campbell, 12 out of 99. And that is, uh, you know, it doesn't say on the box, but it's obviously a numbered parallel. It's kind of like a, it's a refractor. It, to me, it looks like, uh, I think there's a trick or treat. I think this is the trick or treat because we got all this little candy flying around and stuff. Awesome. So numbered cards do exist. I have definitely watched a few videos that I did not see any numbered cards come out. So, so just imagine that you're handing these out and some nice little kid gets that pack with that numbered card in it. He's gonna be stoked. Marvin Harrison, again, this one is the bat. So we got a bat and a pumpkin. And I would not be surprised at all, at least while these are new, if uh, you could sell some of these rookies for a couple bucks. Someone was saying, you know, they thought, eh, a couple bucks. If you could pull a Caleb Williams, wouldn't be surprised at all if that was going for... There's another solid rookie. Uh, Lai to Latu. That you couldn't sell a Caleb Williams, even a bat or pumpkin for like 20 bucks. Wouldn't surprise me at all. Parallel for sure. We have not seen a lot of last year's rookies popping up yet. Surprisingly, JJ McCarthy. There you go, solid, solid, solid. Let's put them up. Let's get those uh, those prospects up. Malik, Marvin Harrison, and JJ McCarthy. Barry Sanders, who is in like every product on earth. You're gonna find Barry Sanders. I think it's Leaf. You open Leaf, and you're gonna get like. 25% of the cards in each box are going to be Barry Sanders. Jalen McMillan. He's, uh, he's not on my list, but that doesn't mean that he isn't going to be a great rookie. Yeah, there's a lot of cards in here, guys. I might consider some speed techniques for the uh, for the next box. Roman Wilson rookie. I wonder what that uh, numbered card there will comp at, or what what numbered cards and parallels are comping at. I first started seeing the videos a little Justin Jefferson go Vikes. Dylan Johnson. I first started seeing videos of this probably like five days ago, so I would guess these have been out for about a week. Josh Allen. Another Dallas Turner. Jalen Waddle. And for those that Try to be the first one to sell a card. You do tend to get a little bit more race to sell their cards. Brendan Rice, Neil Anderson. Being uh, Halloween and just odd, odd, I just enjoy peculiar and odd stuff. Butker. There's uh, Latu again. I could see myself, uh, if I got somebody I really liked, 
framing it up, slabbing it up. I have uh, one of my favorite Wemby cards is Wemby's Halloween card. Halloween rookie card, Cooper DeJean, where he dressed up as Slender Man, which if you're not familiar, Slender Man is a very tall, lanky horror character. There's a CJ about that, guys. All we did the last year was just chase CJ, and here he is, not a rookie. I gotta put him up. We still love CJ. It'll be very interesting to see how he does this year. I have the feeling he's gonna crush it. Xavier Worthy. Uh, so the card shows Victor Wembanyama dressed as Slender Man. It's like, has this cloth over his face and you know, an eight foot tall, skinny, scary man. Malachi Corley. He pulled off a really good Slender Man, and they made a card of it. And uh, it's awesome. Don't care if it's worth money or not. I think I got it for like 10 bucks. Will Anderson. Michael Pratt. Uh, Will Anderson, you know, doesn't probably get nearly the credit he deserves for what he does. The Texans. The humble position of defensive guys. Michael Penix Jr. Penix. Benny Testaverde. Nice little color match there in the uh, bats. I'm creating an incredible pile. Jaden Reed. Brock Bowers, there's another top rookie to look out for. If we get any more parallels, we'll bump somebody. There's Calais, we'll keep that with his numbered card. Bo Nix, there he is. It's really, it's really wild to me that, you know, the, the plan of attack that these came out first. It's like, all right, guys, it's 2024. Troy Franklin, preseason is going. Let's, we need to drop some cards. What's it gonna be? Mosaic, Prism. Regular score? Nope, it's gonna be Halloween cards. Jonathan Brooks. It's wild, it really, the whole thing is wild to me. Little Adrian Peterson. There's a Malachi again. And Zay Flowers. Feels like some of the packs, the cards are like really jammed up to the top, so there's like no room to get a hold of anything. Ricky Purcell. There's Mahomes. And let's be honest, we're always talking about the rookies, but. Who is kind of like most likely to really take another Super Bowl? Phoenix again. It's a pretty strong argument for Mahomes. Mahomes just absolutely crushes it out there. Him and Kelsey. Ed Jaron Cooper. Hitting with the blue steel there. It's got like some writing on it. Signed by Vikings. Oh. Huh. Why does that one say he was signed by the Vikings? None of the other ones say anything. That's weird. 
you can see that there it says signed by Vikings on 3 12 24. Oh, he's wearing his uh, Packers uniform, but it's a Vikings card, and I guess they had to clarify that. Okay, that's interesting. Way to cover your ass there, Panini. Bonix. We got a bat and a pumpkin of Bonix now. All right, guys, this is the last of the first pack. We got one numbered card. We did get a ton of the top rookies. Byron Murphy. Um, otherwise, a lot of bats, a lot of pumpkins. So let's see if those odds are the same. We should have a pretty darn good idea of how this works by the end of this. Will we get a numbered card or something cool in each one? Will we get more than just one? I'm just going to collapse this tower of packs I have over here. Okay, here's what I'm wondering. Oh shoot, I don't have them. I'd say I could cut them. Pack two, let's go. Little Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson just keeps on ticking. His cards are not going anywhere. Chop. Chop, chop again. This would be... Even better if these were like super easy packs to open. Devontae Walker. It's all right, we're moving, we're grooving. Michael Vick again. Jatavian Sanders. Uh, other news in sports release. It would appear that Select Football 23, Shantavian Sanders, has hit the shelves. I saw one video where it was on a shelf. Um, Drake May. So, that's exciting. It doesn't mean it will hit my shelves because I don't know, you guys tell me how it is in your cities, because I'm genuinely curious. Dallas Turner, where I am in Tampa, pretty big city, Not certainly not that big, but a pretty big city, a lot of people here. Apparently a lot of sports fans, we do have several sports teams. But like, there just came a point where like Prism, Prism was out a little bit, and then it was just gone. And the instant it shows up, it disappears. And everyone is buying it, Brock Bowers, and reselling it. Because I see the resellers, and I know where they get it. And I buy from the resellers sometime. I'm not shaming on you resellers. I have my opinions about it, but like, I get my cards from you, so I'd be hypocritical. But like, Prism, forget about it. Mosaic, gone. Optic, the entire time there's Rome, Optic was out. I never once saw it on a shelf. Not a blaster, not a mega, not a value. Never, ever saw it. So I bought my Optic this year, which I opened a fair amount of it. I bought all of my Optic secondary, which is crazy. Trey Benson, and the same as online. Walmart drops 
a new you know shipment of optic and boom within minutes Jalen right it's gone So that's, you know, frustrating. I see some, okay, I'll be honest. I see like one guy online who shows when he's out there card hunting, who has a pretty, some pretty stocked stores. I'm sure some of you watch the same guy. So somewhere out there there's cards, but I wonder if where you guys are, Jaden Daniels. Hey, look at that, Bryce Young. Remember old Bryce? He was, the, my Bryce Young card was the pride of my 23 football season, card season. If you'd like to watch that video, I got a Bryce uh, Young downtown, speaking of optic, out of a blaster box. Brian Thomas, that, I bought on the secondary market. So if I had not bought that particular box from a secondary seller, I would not have pulled that downtown. So I'm thankful for that, Cooper. Moving through this box pretty well. I'm doing my absolute best here. Jaheim Bell. Peyton Manning. But let me know if you guys, do you guys have, can you find cards where you are? And like, what city, if you are, what city are you in? Or maybe you don't want to tell. I, I would understand if you don't, but a Donnie Mitchell rookie. I'm just curious if I'm like the only one. I went to a Walmart today. What I try to do is I work like all over the place. I'm just driving all over. So when I'm in, you know, some random places, I'll, and I got a few minutes, Ricky Parasol, I'll check and see Bijan, hey, hey. Cool to see that. I'll check if there's a Walmart or Target in the area. And I went to one today, kind of like middle of nowhere. Not a busy area, Joe Milton III. And I went in there and literally, they had a big section. We had a large sport card section. It was 100% empty. Not, they didn't have a 20, 20, they didn't have mystery boxes, uh, nothing. Uh, Adonis Mitchell. And like everything else near there that was supposed to be there was there. It was like someone came in with a shopping cart and just like emptied the entire shelf. Xavier Leggett. So, it's hard out there to find cars, people. But I think what I was getting to, I'm getting a lot of it, Michael, is that I saw a video where Select was on the shelves, so. If you're as excited to rip select as I am, go ahead and take a look at your local Walmart and Target and see if select has hit your shelves. Spencer Rattler. I think maybe there's some tricks like I feel like maybe you want to get there, you know, first thing in the morning, you wake up, Rattler again, and you go check your target right when they open. But I don't know because I have been at Walmarts and Targets and seen them stocking, and it was like the middle of the day. Jonathan Brooks. So I don't think that's true. But I have heard that. I have heard people say, you know, you get there in the morning and think like they open up and there's all of their freshly restocked stuff for the day. 
Makes sense. I don't know. Bucky Irving. But select. I just heard it was out. I saw, you know, I saw a video online. Somebody had it. I said, oh my God, select is out. Hopped online. Obnix. And sure enough, it was on Walmart's website. I ordered just a couple. Looking back, I wish I would have ordered more. I ordered just a couple. I saw there was a pretty good amount of it on eBay, so some people had gotten it somehow. And uh, I even checked the next couple days and it was on Walmart, although the price was going up. It was like list price, and then it was $10 more, and then it was $10 more. This was like a few days, Dylan Johnson. And then all of a sudden, it was gone. It was sold out everywhere. Every store you could ever imagine. And it was practically gone on eBay. Uh, Javon Baker, except it got up to, I think right now, it's at like $75 a blaster for select football. Go to the lower Roman Wilson. And I'm sure somebody's probably paying $75 a blaster. Meanwhile, Joe Milton, I need to get some select for the giveaway winners. Like I just can't afford a $75 a blaster right this second. So I'm patiently waiting for s somehow getting a lot of boat to get some selected at, at even just a somewhat reasonable price. So maybe now that it's on the shelves, um, the price will come down a little bit everywhere. So there we go. I've been waiting for this one. Ladies and gentlemen, rising star, Kool-Aid McKinstry. I mean, the guy's name is Kool-Aid. How awesome is that? Two packs left in this box. So we'll see what happens with select Braylon Allen and if I can get some, I will make more videos with it. I've only done blasters, so if they make a mega box, I'll certainly get that. Brian Thomas Jr. All right, so no numbered card. Oh, we got another one with the writing. Traded to Falcons in March. So these cards were made, you know, at a certain point and something changed and they only have pictures of them in their previous uniforms, not their new uniforms. I want to let you know that. What's interesting is what if you're in a break and you pull this, is it a Falcons? Is it a Cardinals? What is it? What do you go with? You'd have a real issue there. All right, guys. Last one. Here we go. This one's, this one's going to have that crazy parallel in it. And... I should have mentioned this earlier, you know, if you want, you could, you could set the speed to this video to like times two, honestly, get you through it a little quicker. Malachi, Corley, if you're still watching and you're getting a little sleepy, go ahead and just set the speed to times two and finish this last box in about three minutes. You would not believe the mound of rappers I have right now. Marvin Harrison. But it's fun because we get to see all the new rookies. We start to kind of familiarize ourselves with this year's products. Lad McConkey. Bucker again. And of course, 
we are always hoping to get that hit. And Johnny Wilson, whether it's retail or hobby or weird Halloween packs or mystery boxes, there's always a chance that you get that pack that has a crazy uh, Jalen McMillan, a crazy case hit in it, 101 gold auto. That makes it all worth it. Mahomes. Ricky Pearsall. Now, I would say by the looks of how much we have opened and our results, it seems pretty apparent that this product is mostly pumpkins and bats. And maybe every great, great once in a while you might get a numbered card. But you do not get a numbered card or any type of exciting parallel in every package. That is clear. Roman Wilson from my rip today and the videos I have watched. And again, the fact that I got any numbered cards is actually above average for some videos I watched. Dallas Turner. And people's opinions vary. I saw one guy who said, I love this. I love weird stuff. Chop, chop. I love seeing these new rookies. It's affordable. You get a ton of cards, ton of packs. Ed Jiren Cooper. So buy it. And I saw another guy who said, this is terrible. This is obviously just something you give away on Halloween for kids. There's nothing worth anything in here. Jaden Daniels. Do not buy it. But you can make up your own mind. However, if you would like my opinion, Young Ho. Jahan and Bell. My opinion is, if you do want to do this, buy one package. One is enough, because you get so much, just the amount of packs to open is crazy. So I think one is adequate and do not have any expectations that you are chasing parallels because you probably aren't gonna get any Byron Murphy. But for $20, it's fun. You get to see the new rookies, you get new rookie cards, you get a Drake May rookie card to start your 24 season collection. And just, it's something new. Bucky Irving, we like to rip new stuff. But I think one, I think one is, uh, one is enough. That too. I will say that it really would have been exciting if that numbered card was like, you know, Bo Nix or Drake May. No offense to Kalei Campbell. Like it's so rare to get one. Well, heck, even like, how about a CJ Stroud? Second year, that's all right, Jalen Wright. CJ Stroud numbered trick-or-treat card. That'd be cool. George Pickens. Jalen McMillan. There's a lot of people in here. We are getting, you know, a good amount of repeats, but we're also I'm seeing new guys popping up. You know, 90 packs in that I haven't seen yet. Javon Baker. Oh, we're getting pretty close, folks. Uh, coming up. Ricky Parasol. I am still looking for optic football 
hobby blasters and hobby mega boxes. Those were dropped. The pre-order was dropped at least several weeks ago, Jonathan Brooks. And my local card shop is good about carrying that stuff, but they haven't gotten it. I haven't seen anything online. So those are not, those, Panini's putting out Halloween cards, but they're not prepared to release the 23 Optic Hobby Blasters yet, Blake Corum. So I'm excited to try that. Um, of course, if I can find more select, I will jump on that. Joe Milton. Uh, there's some hobby stuff out. Don Russ, uh, what was it? It's like optic something. I don't know. There's always a couple new hobby products coming out. There was Mosaic, uh, Spencer Rattler. There was a Mosaic that just came out. 2324. Um, some baseball coming out. Marvin Harrison again. I saw Don Russ hobby box. Tops Chrome just put out the monster box, which is my most recent video if you're curious about that. There's a lot of Tops Chrome out there to grab. Dylan Johnson. And then it'll be. Uh, Oh, the Olympics cards. Just uh, just did a video on those as well. There's Olympic and Olympic hobby. Ricky Parasol. Olympics are over now, but now we know who the gold medalists are, so good time to collect. And then, of course, we are looking at the rest of this season's cards to come out. Score, non Halloween score 24. There's the one with the writing. Mike Williams. It's going to say signed by the Jets in March. Wearing not Jets. Jaden Daniel. And then, you know, at some point, Prism will come out. And it's going to be a long time before Optic came out because Optic, last year's Optic is still like in its final stages but will be very exciting. 2024 Prism. Man, that'll be fun. I can already see what an insane frenzy that's gonna be. Spencer Rattler. Just all I can say is good luck. When 24 Prism and 24 Optic come out, just good luck. Jaren Cooper. We got just a couple packs left. It's looking like that one numbered card is probably going to be it. Unless we got one hiding in the bottom here. So, Kool Aid again. The special cards are very hard to find in this product. I'm mean, going to imagine they printed a ton of this. And they did not put in a ton of numbered cards. However, they printed a ton of these, and you get a card out of 99. That's actually a pretty good card. Troy Franklin. Two to go. If you made it this far again, you're an amazing person. You deserve an award. Thank you for watching. Thanks to all of you that subscribe. If you don't subscribe, please consider joining. Comment if you got anything to say and like this video. I appreciate it very much. Byron Murphy. More fun stuff coming this week. And uh, do another giveaway before too long. Probably in the next week. I'll at least do a one winner giveaway. Just stay tuned for that. Brendan Rice and finally Justin Tucker. So in review... We saw about every rookie other than Caleb Williams, um, which is a bummer. So Caleb, I think it's pretty safe to say Caleb Williams is not in this. Why? Maybe there's info online. I don't know. But unfortunately, he is not in here. But just about everyone else is. And it was cool to see, you know, Mahomes and CJ Stroud in this 24 
season and these cards, you know, they're fun. It's Halloween stuff. It's fun. I like it. Good price. This is our winner right here. Calais. 12 out of 99. So these are very hard to come by. So if you if you pull a numbered card, be stoked. You know, that's a cool little parallel there. So thanks for watching that, everybody. Fun to rip some new product. Let's all get after it in the 24 season. Excited to see, see it start up here shortly. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out. Happy Halloween.